There is a real world connection to working with radicals in the stained glass window design. The side of each small square is five inches. Find the perimeter of the window to the nearest tenth of an inch. Well, uh, the stained glass window is a tessellation made up of squares. Uh, the squares happen to be turned 90 or 45 degrees, so they actually are a diamond. We can split each one of those squares into a triangle, and since the length of each side is 5, it splits it into an isosceles right triangle. And we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of one part of the edge of the rectangle. Once we find and solve for C using the Pythagorean theorem, we need to take that result and multiply it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because there are 10 lengths of C that make up the perimeter of the stained glass window. So writing down the Pythagorean theorem, we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now you might be thinking, I thought the Pythagorean theorem was a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. I just use the symmetric property and switch the sides of the equation. So we'll be solving for c squared. The length of each side of this triangle is 5, so that'll give us 5 squared plus 5 squared. The right hand side simplifies to 50, and we get that result by applying the square to each of these 5s, which would give 25 plus 25 to give us this 50 right here. At this point, we take the square root of both sides, which allows us to solve for C. So C is equal to the square root of 50. And since the directions ask us to estimate it to the nearest tenth of an inch, we're going to use a calculator to find that C is going to be approximately equal to 7.071 and you'd want to use your square root function on your calculator. Now remember we need to take that result and multiply it by 10 because there are 10 lengths of C around the stained glass. When we multiply 7.071 by 10 that gives 70.71 and we will round out to 70.7 inches. So the perimeter around the stained glass window is 70.7 inches. There was a real world connection working with radicals.